Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate the reverse hyperextension with the bench and a Swiss ball. The reason why I utilize in a bench and a Swiss ball instead of just a Swiss ball is because that gave me more range of motion from where to perform the um, reverse hyperextension of the back. Okay, uh, another device that you can utilize for performing this exercise is the GHD machine or a bigger uh, Swiss ball that is bigger than your normal size. Normally you determine the size of your the Swiss ball by sitting on the Swiss ball and if the femur is a 90 degrees approximately, this is about, about 90 degrees or parallel to the floor, that's the size that you will um, determine if the Swiss ball is suitable for you. If it's too high or too low, well then that's not the ideal Swiss ball uh, for you. So um, for the reverse hyperextension with the bench and the Swiss ball, you will need a Swiss ball of your size uh, as well as a bench. And you will want to have the Swiss ball approximately on the far hand closer to you on the bench. You're gonna lay over the Swiss ball, you're gonna grasp on the bench below you, and then from here, you're just gonna perform, you're gonna gently touch the feet together and keep them touched together. You're gonna take a nice big breath in into your belly. Breathe out as you're drawing in the belly bottom. And now hold the tight the bench underneath you and extend the leg backwards. Keep the knee soft but not bent. The legs should be straight. Do not overextend your neck, keep your neck neutral. Breathe out as you're going up, breathe in as you're coming back down. Perform this exercise for the suggested amount of repetition and sets as indicated in your program, as well as the speed and intensity.